Hello, this is Mandeep Singh, founder of Mandeeps.com. In this video, we will look at some of the advanced features of our live tooltip module. Alright, so let's begin by logging in. If you have not already checked out the Getting Started video, I strongly recommend you to do that, in which we covered how to set up these basic tooltips. In this particular video, we're going to go ahead and extend the concept of tooltips to not just uh, text or image links, but to actually form elements such as text boxes and so forth. So, the best example I can think of is to add some tooltips to the regular um, register or login uh, elements. For example, these right here. I would want a tooltip to appear says uh, please specify a username or when it appears here is I would like to say a password can only be seven or eight digits long must have alphanumeric and so forth so let's see how we can do that we'll have tooltip in our advanced section of this video so let's log in again let's go to host uh, login and oops, let's try that again All right. Um, the first thing, the first thing I'm going to do is go ahead and uh, add a new page to host our register module. So I'm going to just call it register, and I don't want this to be in menu. It's visible to all users. Go ahead and hit update, and I want this to be my register custom registration page. So I will go ahead and add on this the. Uh, users account module which by default in the end is no longer a uh, regular module it's a premium module so for it to be visible you have to go to module definitions scroll down to users and roles and then make sure uh, that it is assigned to your website so we'll go ahead and assign that all right let's go back to our register page we just created right here all right, so we should have a module called Users and Roles. There it is. Let's add that. All right, so we don't need all these other modules that come with it. We just want the module that allows a user to, to register himself or herself, which is this right here. All right, then we also would want an instance of Live Tooltip. Now you don't have to have a live tooltip module on this page if you're using portal tooltips, but if your tooltips are only intended to be used once, I strongly recommend not to use the portal tooltip feature. Okay, so let's go ahead and add our tooltip called password, and we want it to say passwords must be L alpha numeric and at least seven characters long so let's go ahead and update that and because uh, this is we want this to work with a, a text box for example this right here I want this to appear here and here so now this is the advanced part. What we need to do is because you cannot just provide a link here using the the live tooltip links syntax, we have to find another way to attach the tooltip here. So what we need to do is we need to know the ID or the name of this element in HTML. And that can be easily found if you basically look at the source. So looking at the source here, you can see that, that for that text box the ID is this right here this is the input ID so let's grab that ID and let's go back to our tooltip right, we'll go to our advanced section and say attach this tooltip to this ID now just add, added this pound or sharp sign because that uh, designates that whatever I'm specifying after this is an ID so let's go ahead and hit add here just make sure it's there, yep. And uh, other thing we're going to do is we're going to say show this on focus, meaning only when the text box has focus, and hide it on blur when it loses the focus. Let's go ahead and update that. Let's go back. See if that works. 
and certainly does. Okay, let's go ahead and add the same thing to this text box as well. We'll just grab its ID as well. I have to manage tooltips. We'll go ahead and add another one. We can add as many IDs we want. We can specify that same tooltip to multiple places. All right, let's do a couple more things. We're going to change the style to let's say dark. I want this to appear. Um, the left center of the tooltip should appear on the right center of the target. And I'm going to move uh, the tooltip about 20 pixels to the right because of that red uh, DNN icon. I don't want this to obstruct my tooltip. So here's how it looks. All right, let's go ahead and actually move this a little bit more and show a error as well. I think that'll look nicer. So let's move this to 40 of A. And we're going to say uh, show a tip as well. All right. Let's go back and take a look. All right, much nicer. So, password from multiple elephant prank and at least seven characters long. And as you can see, now they're appearing on the both sides. And if I go somewhere else, they disappear. So, how do we add something here as well? Same exact philosophy, but let's go ahead and take a look at the ID here. Well, in this particular case, if you see, there is no ID assigned to this. So if you don't have an ID, how are we going to go ahead and associate this? We do have a name assigned, so we can grab that field. Let's get that from the source. Let's go ahead and uh, go back to the tooltips. Let's go ahead and add new tooltip. Let's say, please um, enter a username and let's get it advanced here we're gonna say this time instead of using sharp which is ID we're gonna just say a bracket and we're gonna say name equals paste in the name and close the bracket so I'm gonna go ahead and add that in and then um, after I do that we're gonna also go ahead and change the style to dark to match the other one to make this 40 position my um, left center at right center and then also I'm going to make sure on focus and on blur. So let's go ahead and update that. Cancel out. And here it is. We forgot to add the uh, the tip, which would looks nicer. So let's go ahead and add that. So let's add a tip to our username. Password has it already. And uh, let's also make it fade in and fade out. Set update. So go back, and there we go. Please enter a username. All right. So that's a pretty nice uh, uh, feature of Live Tooltip. Uh, let's see what else we can do using that attached to uh, attached to criteria. Now, what if I wanted uh, when a user hover this register? Say registration is free and takes only a few minutes. That's easy. What I can do is go ahead and log back in, and then what I'm going to do, if I can type the passwords correctly, um, maybe not. Try this one more time, a bit slower. All right. So I'll go ahead and add another tooltip called Register, and I'm going to say I'm going to make this a portal tooltip. So I'm going to actually change that option here I'm gonna say add there's my portal tooltip which you can always change by unchecking or checking this from here as well so I'm gonna say um, let's see uh, registration is absolutely free and only takes few minutes that is not registration ah, something's wrong here registration there we go okay um, so having said that and done that let's go ahead and update this now we don't know how to attach this here so let's go ahead and inspect that element basically look at the source and find its ID and there it is so I got its ID from the source and if you don't have, if you're not using Firefox uh, and don't have the inspect element feature, you can always 
go to page source like this and search for super user account let's see let's find that right here there's the link and in the link we can find the ID right here so let's go back to manage tooltips and we're working with portal tooltips now so in our register tooltip we can say attach this to this particular ID and uh, let's update and let's go out and let's see if it works and it certainly does and because we made this a portal tooltip it should work on all the pages no matter if you have the live tooltip module or not so there we go that was some of you of the advanced features of live tooltip module as always if you guys have any questions or concerns please feel free to contact us thank you for watching the video